Hello, everyone. Welcome to Technologies Discussion Channel. Today, I'd like to start a new topic, which is on Arduino and also Python programming. This video, I'm going to discuss how can we actually install the Arduino program. I'm also going to discuss how can we actually write four simple program in Arduino under 10 minutes. So this will be the objective for this video. This will be the part one series discussion on Arduino and Python programming. In the future, you can actually take a look on the playlist under the description. Basically, over this playlist, I'm going to discuss more on Arduino and Python programming. This is my email. If you have any question regards on today's discussion, please drop me an email. Before I continue, I'd like to urge you guys to support this channel by pressing the like and also the subscribe button. Please also turn on your notification bell in order to receive more information from this channel. Once again, sincere thanks for your strong support. At the end of this video, I'm going to explain okay, all the lines of the source code so that you understand how can we actually program either the Arduino or Python. This is what we are planning to do for this video. Firstly, I'm going to discuss how can we actually install Arduino program. Basically, this link here shows the Arduino homepage. Basically, if you click this software, okay, so later on, I will demo how can we actually install Arduino program. Next, as mentioned earlier on, I'm going to share how can we actually write four simple Arduino program under 10 minutes. First task, we are going to turn on LED that is on the Arduino Uno board, basically through this pin 13. Okay, later on, you realize that pin 13 is actually so-called connected to this LED, which means that if pin 13 is 5 volt, the LED will light on. If pin 13 is 0 volt, the LED will not light out. So the first task is we are going to write a source code how to turn on the LED through pin 13. Next, after turning on the LED, the second task is we are going to learn how can we actually turn off the LED. So this will be programming number two. Programming number three, okay, I'm going to make LED blink basically again through pin 13. Basically, I'm going to set high, low, high, low on pin 13 so that the LED actually blink. Last but not least, on the fourth programming, okay, I'm going to change the different rate on the blinking. Okay, for example, for this case here, I'm going to turn it on for one minute and turn it off for nine, uh, sorry, turn it on for one second and turn it off for nine seconds. So basically, this were what I want to discuss on the last programming, which is the fourth programming. This diagram here shows the Arduino board. Okay, for a start, okay, let's not go through all the pin. Okay, I just want to bring through the essential one that you need so that you understand this video here. Okay, firstly over here, this is basically where we connect up the Arduino board to the computer. You can also visualize that this is basically a source of power to power up the Arduino board. Okay, besides there's another source here, but you can imagine that if you use a USB, you actually can power up your Arduino board also. I'd like to bring attention over here. Okay, so this LED, okay, typically when Arduino is working all right, it will be in green in color. Okay, so when this LED is in green in color, which means that the board is working well. Okay, so basically this LED actually also indicate whether the Arduino is on or off by looking at this LED. Okay, next. Earlier on, I told you that this point here, which is pin 13. So if you want, you can count from here, from zero all the way to pin 13 here. This pin 13 is actually connected to the LED on the Arduino board, which means that if pin 13 is high, the LED will light out. If the pin 13 is low, the LED will not light out. Okay, so basically this gives you some example Okay, so let's quickly switch. How can we actually install 
the Arduino software. Okay, so this web page actually show the home page of Arduino. So if you want, you can actually type this Arduino home page onto H. Okay, for example, I'm using H. So if not, you can actually Google Arduino okay, using Google. Okay, and then after that, you click, you definitely won't have any big issue to come to Arduino home page. So what next, what I'm going to do is basically, I'm going to share how can we actually install the Arduino software. So under this home page here, there's one word called software. So what you need to do is you click on the wording on software. So give it some time to respond. So over here, you can see that the latest currently okay, on Arduino will be IDE 2.1.0. Okay, so I'm using window. Okay, I'm using Win 10 and above. So therefore, I click over this part here. Okay, I have contributed to Arduino. So for now, I basically click just download. Okay, you can see that the download of Arduino actually take place. It will take a few seconds over here. So basically, this is how we actually first part. How can we actually download the Arduino software? So once the download finish, we can click on this open file. So it will take some time to respond. So basically, this is a license agreement. So what I need to do is I click on I agree. Okay, so basically I will install only for me. So I press the next. Okay, so this is the so-called destination folder that I'm going to install the Arduino. So I'm not going to make any changes. I just press the installation. Okay, so now you can see that the installation of IDE actually take place. Okay, so this will take up about maybe five seconds. Okay, so I'm not going to pause this thing or fast forward this thing is because I believe some of you probably were doing this together with me. So basically what I'm going to do is basically, I will keep silent here. Okay, basically waiting for the installation to happen because uh, like what I mentioned, some of you probably is trying to copy how I actually install the Arduino IDE. So I'll just remain silent for a few minutes while to let the installation take place. So it's going to take about maybe four to five seconds, oh, sorry, four to five minutes. Okay, so let's wait a few more minutes for the installation to be complete. Okay, so let's wait a little bit patient or you can take a drink while waiting for the installation. Okay, so the installation still happened, although it somehow seems like it gets stuck over here. Okay, but you can see that basically all the installation process is still happening behind the scene. Okay, so just need to be patient, wait a few more minutes for it to be complete. Okay, I think it about to finish soon. Okay, based on my experience. Okay, so let's wait. Probably uh, just another few more seconds for all this to be complete. Okay, so like what I mentioned, it's complete. 
Okay, so basically, you can see over here, click finish to close setup. So I just click the word finish, okay, to close this setup. Okay, so let's wait a few more seconds here. Okay, so you can see that a pop-up page from, you can see that Arduino is running now. Okay, so let's wait a while for the Arduino IDE to pop up. Okay, so this is the Arduino pop-up here. Okay, so basically this is where you can actually write your code for Arduino programming. Let's go to Arduino board view. Okay, so over here, you actually see a Arduino Uno board. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to power on this Arduino Uno board. So you actually can hear a sound that is indicated by the PC. Okay, so now I'm going to power up this Arduino Uno board, but I keep quiet so that you are able to hear the sound that is indicated by the PC. Can you hear the sound from the PC? Okay, so when you actually power up this Arduino board, when everything is, seems okay, you will hear a little indicative from the sound from the PC. So now I'm going to take up the power. Again, you hear the same sound from the PC. So now I'm going to power up the Arduino Uno board again. You hear the sound? So it means that this Arduino board is working perfectly all right. And you actually can see this green LED light that appeared over here. Okay, so this green LED light indicate that this Arduino Uno board is working perfectly. Let's go back to the program. I guess I have to continue another video on this writing of for Arduino program. If not, this video will be too long. So what we have learned in this video is basically we learn how to install Arduino. So thank you so much for your support. I hope to see you soon to write this four program in Arduino. See you guys once again. Thank you so much for your strong support. Bye for now.